Very few fighter aircraft designs earn the right to be considered among the best of their kind. The following showcase covers selections for best military fighters of all time. In our review, the fighters were chosen based on production numbers, combat performance, and a general assessment of their effect during their particular period in aviation history. Top Fighter Aircraft of All Time Vought F4U Corsair Carrier Based Fighter Spider Bomber Night Fighter One of the greatest fighter aircraft of all time, the American Vought F4U Corsair became the stuff of legend for its part in the air wars of World War II, 1939-1945, the Korean War, 1950-1953, and several Cold War conflicts that followed. The design was attributed to Igor Sikorsky and Rex Beisel, and went on to see production totals reach over 12,500 units with manufacturing ending in 1952, an impressive total for an aircraft initially rejected by the United States Navy. The F-4U originally appeared as a USN carrier-based fighter design until difficulties in landing the aircraft on a moving carrier led to its expanded use as a land-based fighter in the hands of US Marine aviators. While the United States Navy moved on to the equally excellent Grumman F-6F Hellcat, the F-4U continued to make a name for itself in the Pacific theater, even earning the respect of its Japanese foes as one of the most feared combat aircraft in the region. The fast and powerful Vought F-4U Corsair fighter was the first Allied aircraft capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the fabled Japanese Zero, it fought into the Korean War years and beyond. Republic P-47 Thunderbolt Single-seat, single-engine fighter-bomber aircraft While much of the romance of World War II dogfighting often heads in the direction of the United States Army Air Forces, North American P-51 Mustang or the Vought F4U Corsair, the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt, affectionately nicknamed the Jug, stands second to none when considering her global reach, her contributions to the air and ground war, in all theaters, and the fact that she was produced more than any other American fighter of the war. Though not too pretty to look at, the Thunderbolt had it, where it counted, through her stressed metal skin, robust airframe, and powerful engine. Her weight never made her a prominent close-up dogfighting champion, but this drawback allowed her to excel in dive and zoom attacks against enemy fighters while proving her equally adept at ground strikes accomplished through the battery of eight heavy machine guns, five-inch rockets, and conventional bombs. In the end, the Sunsung hero of World War II proved that she played second fiddle to no one, regardless how sexy a design she was up against. The P-47 proved such a fearsome foe that Axis infantrymen on the ground dreaded the day they would have to encounter the fatty from Farmingdale coming out of the skies with her eight machine guns ablaze. The Thunderbolt served in every major combat theater of World War II. Public P-47 Thunderbolt, nicknamed the Jug, proved itself an unsung hero of World War II where it fought across all major theaters of the conflict. North American P-51 Mustang Single-seat, single-engine fighter, fighter-bomber aircraft The North American P-51 Mustang proved an invaluable addition to the Allied cause in the latter half of World War II. The system was designed and flown in a matter of months and made such an impact that it could clearly be considered the war-winning design for the Allies. Mustangs primarily assisted in escorting bombers on long-range sorties but were able to attack ground targets with bombs and machine guns and outperform many of the German fighters that were matched against it. The Mustang exuded classic warbird in every sense of the phrase and went on to be one of the most recognized piston-engine fighters of all time. The impressive reach of the P-51, both in performance and in the sheer number of operators, surely says a lot about the class of this aircraft. The Mustang exceeded all specifications and allowed for a definitive shift in the direction of the air war over Europe, forcing Germany to lose all hope of ever recovering her air support. The P-51 served with at least 55 operators across the globe and was in operational service even into the 1970s. At any rate, the P-51 was as important to the Allied cause in the later years of World War II as the Supermarine Spitfire was in the early years, making her one of the most important and successful fighter aircraft platforms of all time.
Her involvement in other global wars, from the Korean War to the Middle East and beyond, sure was a testament to both aircraft and pilot. The North American P-51 Mustang is arguably the most recognizable and celebrated American fighter of World War II. Grumman F-6F Hellcat Carrier-borne fighter, fighter-bomber aircraft The F-6F Hellcat was the successor to, and a logical evolution of, the capable F-4F Wildcat series of carrier-borne aircraft fielded by the United States Navy in the Pacific theater of World War II. In the conflict, the Hellcat served under the banners of the USN, United States Marine Corp, and Britain's fleet air arm of the Royal Navy. The system featured a powerful Pratt & Whitney brand engine, multiple heavy caliber machine guns and the ability to carry conventional bombs and air-to-surface rockets all the while operating from the mobile flat tops of the aircraft carriers. The aircraft was known to make aces of most pilots who flew her in total top 12,275 examples of various models, 11,000 of those appearing in a short 24 months of production. The F-6F series soldiered on in the post-war world, being fielded by French, Argentine, and Uruguayan forces. The French used them in anger in their Indochina conflict, while the series as a whole would be used up until the early 1960s. The last use of F-6Fs for the Americans came in the Korean War, when six remotely controlled Hellcats were used as giant aerial bombs on targets in North Korea. The appearance of the F-6F most assuredly changed the tide of the war in the Pacific in favor of the Americans, and the rest of the free world for that matter. The system was noted for its toughness and responsiveness and the kill tally reflected the benefits of the platform. In the end, the F-6F lived up to the name of Legendary Warbird and became one of the single most important reasons that the war in the Pacific turned out the way it did. The classic Grumman F-6F Hellcat fighter was known to make an ace out of the many pilots who flew it during World War II. McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II Multi-role carrier-based fighter strike fighter aircraft. Arguably one of the finest combat fighters of the 20th century, the McDonnell F-4 Phantom II series was produced in larger numbers since the end of World War II than any other Western fighter of the time. The Phantom II grew into an all-around performer and went on to serve with the USAF, USN, and USMC, concurrently, the first American aircraft to do so and some 11 other nations around the world, the American forces in the Vietnam conflict and was pressed into service in the Persian Gulf War of 1991. Though widely retired from most national air forces, some continue to serve today, some 50 years after production had initially begun. The Phantom II followed this achievement up with a stellar combat record, in particular, throughout the Vietnam conflict going toe-to-toe -to -toe with various MiG types including both the vietnam war and the persian gulf war of 1991 phantom II crews were credited with the destruction of 280 enemy aircraft the phantom's multi-purpose use need no mention but it is deserved the airframe proved capable of most any type of role envisioned by war planners from radar suppression and enemy aircraft interception to strike and reconnaissance the phantom II also proved capable of operations from land and sea-based origins to that, we add the capability of her pilots, systems operators and ground crews, for without them. With all this, it's no wonder the Phantom II became one of the most respected and remembered aircraft of her time, with some examples still in operational service today. The classic McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II is widely regarded as one of the most successful fighter designs of all time and saw considerable combat service in the Vietnam War. Boeing, McDonnell Douglas, F-15 Eagle. Multi-role, chair superiority, fighter aircraft. For a time, the McDonnell Douglas, now under Boeing, F-15 Eagle series was the pinnacle of American air superiority, incorporating advanced technologies and forward-thinking design that evolved into a highly maneuverable and performance-enhanced multi-role fighter platform. The F-15 was designed to succeed the highly respect, but ultimately aged, McDonnell F-4 Phantom II series from the Vietnam War years and would go on to achieve an excellent kill-to-loss record, at one time totaling 100 combat kills to no losses.
The newer F-15E Strike Eagle variant provides much improved avionics capabilities and incorporates a second rear-seated crew member to assist in the redefined strike role. The system, retaining all of its dogfighting pedigree, is now made more potent with the addition of air-to-ground capabilities through the fielding of precision-guided munitions and missiles. Strike Eagle models entered service in 1988 and continue to play a vital role in USAF air combat activities around the globe. With the arrival of the Lockheed F-22 Raptor next-generation aircraft, the end of the road is in sight for the F-15 Eagle, bringing a close one of the most combat-capable aircraft ever designed. Until the inevitable occurs, the F-15 will undoubtedly continue to serve in a frontline role for some time to come. With service entry in the mid-1970s, the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle went on to become a classic American fighter aircraft sporting an excellent combat record.